Hi there, I'm Chef Alina Z, board certified holistic health coach, detox specialist, and nutrition chef. And today we are making pancakes made with almond flour, a little bit of coconut flour, and some other magic ingredients. And we made our own strawberry jam. That's incredible. You gotta check out the video. And you can also see what else you can pair these with. That is just mind blowing. So check out the video. It's gonna be a little bit of tricky parts here. So I'm gonna walk you right through it. I'm gonna make it super easy, okay? Nothing to be afraid of, but it's gonna be great. So we're gonna start with two eggs and we're gonna separate them from egg whites and egg yolks. We're gonna have a little bit of coconut flour, mostly almond flour, mashed bananas, pretty ripe. We're gonna need some baking powder and some salt. And then we're going to make our own sauce, our own strawberry jam. And we are going to need strawberries, chia seeds, and dates. So let's get started on the pancakes first. We're gonna need room temperature egg whites. And we're going to beat them until they start to foam up and be white and have soft peaks on top. So nice and fluffy, see? All right. We're gonna start warming up our pan. Meanwhile, we're gonna mash the bananas. And then we're going to... Bananas I love for cooking because they're so rich and they have a lot of potassium, which helps control the fluid in our bodies and can help lower blood pressure. So awesome. Then we're gonna put the egg yolks in here. And then we're gonna add the flour, coconut flour. I just like it for texture. And then we're gonna put the almond flour. And this one is not a blanched almond flour, it has little specks of uh, the skin, which I like extra fiber, why not? And then now we're going to gently fold in to the egg whites. It's so fun to hear it, it's like foamy. And then we're gonna add baking powder, so they're extra fluffy, and a little bit of salt. And then also we're gonna start melting the ghee. Ghee is clarified butter, so it's no, there's no dairy in it, so it's allowed of paleo. All right, keep that warm. Nice and fluffy. And personally, I like smaller pancakes because then they're just more fun to eat, I think. And then you feel like you can have more. <laughs> I'm just gonna cook them right on top. You can add vanilla if you want. I like to keep them plain, but it's entirely up to you. I love the buttery smell. Oh my God, this smells so good. And you know what? I don't care if they're not perfectly round or whatnot, as long as they're good. So now we're just gonna cook them. You don't wanna use high heat because then it will burn and you don't wanna use too low heat. So it's like medium is just right. And I like to clean up while I'm cooking and to do other things. So I'm letting these cook. Don't watch a boiling pot, right? So now we're gonna make our own jam. So I have fresh strawberries, put them in the food processor. Dates that I pitted myself, so they're nice and fresh. And then we have some chia seeds, which are really rich in anti-inflammatory omega-3s. So awesome. And then strawberries are rich in uh, vitamin C. So it's like super anti-inflammatory, yummy jam. I'm gonna process it on high until it becomes a jam. And that's it. And if you're wondering why did I put chia seeds in there, not just because they're anti-inflammatory, but because, oh my God, it smells so good, but because chia seeds will bulk up and make it more like jello-like. So together with the dates and the strawberries, when they give out so much water, it will make them jellify. Just another second or two of that. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh. 
And one trick is to keep the strawberries at room temperature because they will be so much more fragrant. So good. Look at this, this is jam. That's my jam. That's my jam. All right, and I think it's time to flip these guys. Let's see. Yeah. You want to pat them down so they continue cooking through. And this one, we're going to actually turn the heat down even lower. So they start to burn a little bit. Every burner is different. And you know, that's how you know you're an adult. You know your favorite burner. <laughs> So funny, everybody, every adult has a favorite burner. I always like the one on the right towards the bottom, but see this one burns on this side of the pan. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, so these are done. Oh yeah, that came out really nice. Very, very nice. All done. So I tasted all of these things separately, but now I'm gonna actually taste all of them together. So let's see, we're gonna put a little bit of the jam and we're gonna put this lemon filling from our tart. Mmm. Oh my God. This is so good together. I love Love, love, love this jam. It's my jam. <laughs> you guys know I'm a dwarf. I like all this stuff. And it's together. Mm. It's like sweet and condensed milk with a little bit of lemon. I think it's sensational. But you can try it out. Check it out. Try it. Like the video. Share it. And you know what? If you don't want to make it, what you can do is share it with somebody and be like, hey, honey, can you make this for me? And then that person is gonna be like, ooh, that sounds really interesting. I wanna be your hero and they're gonna make it for you. So share away. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go eat all of this. Okay, until later, bye. Mmm, so good.